different manufacturer data for different devices. In this case, uh, a relay. You can display the relay. You can graphically change the values of the relay. Pick up time dial. You can display many different things. You can dis display the devices all in the same TCC. You have multiple TCC. There's quite a, a variety of what you can do with STAR. And of course, there's a separate webinar that we uh, already have for had for STAR, and we probably have an advanced session of this in the in a future session uh, for future webinars. But for for this case, we basically what we did we created a a TCC or time current char uh, curve characteristics for this relay, OCR, is a GE multi 735, 737, and we're displaying an NC extremely inverse curve with a pickup of 80 and a time dial of 10. Now, uh, what we want to do in this case is select this relay, and as you see on your uh, right-hand side, there's a number of tools here. There's a phase curve, there's a ground curve for the same relay. For this case, we want to test the phase curve. So again, this is the ground curve of the same relay shown on the same TCC and we have the phase. We want to test the phase curve of this device and there is there are some tools on the bottom of the screen that uh, indicates export curve, relay arts uh, test set, import results and then compare. So before we actually import this or export this data into arts we want to see what we have for this relay. So by, with that we've, I first select the curve and I click on the arts result comparison and this will pop up a dialog box which indicates my um, device curve or star TCC called star file. And here I see my OCR2 relay. And within that I see the two categories, phase and ground. Since we're dealing with the phase, we're looking at phase OC1. And if you see on the, bot on the uh, other screen or the bottom screen, relay test result, there's a number of tests that have been already done on this relay. And I actually run some tests today. Um, I had some tests from 6-11-2006. I can simply go ahead and select that and you see here it indicates the relay settings that were used to test this relay and with that I can apply I'm going to OK this editor and you can see there's a set of points that are generated right on my TCC. Now these are some of the test results that were done in 6-11-2006 at 7.30 p.m. which was used to compare the uh, a portion of this curve against the manufacturer published data. And as you see, uh, the deviation is fairly small. Um, you can zoom in to here and, and, and get to see this even closer to see how the points are. You can double click on the points and you can bring up the points as a user curve and you actually can expand on the points and see the actual point set that was generated for this test. Um, so you can at any point go in there and modify the points, delete some points, um, or you can do it directly from the database or from ETAP. So going back to here, you have additional tests that you can bring up all at the same time. Um, some other tests that was done. So you can see some of the deviations perhaps that you generated for this curve. Then they're shown as, as a function of points. You can make them a line. Uh, those are basically some user-defined uh, parameters that you can specify. So let's walk through this case, uh, and this is a fairly a simple procedure for actually generating this. So let's go ahead and put this inside the arts environment. So first thing we do is select a curve that we want to test. Now, you can, have, uh, you can only test one curve at a time, but for a given relay, for example, in this case, 735-737 GE Multilin, if the device includes phase, ground, negative sequence, uh, neutral, or other means, you can actually test them all in one, one uh, or you can export all these curves at one shot. But you can only test one relay at a time. So for that, if I had two relays showing on this TCC, I only could test one of them at a time because that's how you would do a testing. You only test one relay at a time. But all the trip elements within that relay, again, phase, ground, neutral, whatever they are active, can be all exported at one time. So in this case, I am selecting this device, and in this particular example, I'm going to double click on my relay, you see this relay has phase and ground elements. So in fact, when I export this device into my arts environment, I'm exporting both my phase and ground curve. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and actually do this. So first thing I would do is with select a curve and click on the export curve. Now I already have a database for my relay test set that was generated, so it's going to ask me if I want to override it. I'm going to say go ahead and click on OK. So what it will display for me, it will show the relay that ID that was exported, 
the export database name and this is a database it's a separate database that is creating for this test and it indicates for me which elements for this device have been exported which are phase and ground those are the two elements that I had active and it also indicates to me the location at which this database is stored at in this case in my C drive under my arch folder now that's the diff default folder that it will be that the results will be stored uh, in would be in your ETAPS project folder um, under a folder called arts but you can always change that location so with that I'm going to go and OK this so my the data now is have been transferred on to my um, database now at this moment I need to bring up my arts software or the interface to my arts hardware to be able to test the device so with that you can either launch it directly from ETAB or you can launch it from your program file since this is more convenient I would just click on test uh, test set arts and it will launch this device uh, firmware now since I don't have the device connected to my uh, hardware it's gonna ask me for a connection type so I'm just gonna say OK and to it is asking me if I want to connect the instrument I, I would say no but typically you would have the device connected in this case I'm just generating uh, a simulated test so as you see there are in this environment, it's called uh, Overcurrent 505167 50, 50, Relay. This is the, the software that drives the hardware. And in this case, uh, we're looking at ground fault and phase fault. For the ground fault, I have this curve. For the phase fault, I have another curve. So you can basically switch back and forth between your different device curves. You can look at your test data, nominal characteristic, and of course the results. So <clears throat> with the phase curve, first thing I need to do in this environment without going to a detailed training of this device is I need to generate for this relay curve that has been generated from the program my um, uh, relay test set. In fact, in this case, since I haven't actually asked the program to generate this, um, I would either have to open my file. Let me do this something else. I'm going to actually close this device and select this and uh, let me, let me re-export my file in ETAP. So that way it automatically brings up this file when I generate the, uh, the test. Okay, so as you see, automatically, since I generate this, auto automatically it's going to pop up a menu asking me which database you want to open. And since this is the database that I just exported the data to, I'm going to go ahead and open this. So as soon as I open this, it actually gives me the, the custom curves or the curves that have been generated or exported from ETAP to the arts environment. Um, the reason that we are actually not showing this as an equation is because even though the data might be in equation format in ETAP, what's exported out is in point based. So you see all these points that generate this ground fault and this is for the phase curve. So this is what is the actual published manufactured data from STAR into the arts software. Now. With this, first thing I need to do is to test this relay. So I have to generate a pre-fault condition. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and generate a pre-fault. And now I have a choice in this, uh, hard, in this software to either test based on a quick test, a sequence test, or I can do a, a definite time threshold. Uh, there's different types of testing that you can do. There's, there's depending on the types of tests, phasing a specific test, uh, a line or a line to line or um, depending how you connect it, how, what you're testing for the relay, if it's a single phase relay, it's a three phase relay or so forth. So in this case, we're just gonna be testing um, a click and test. By that means every time I click on the curve, there would be a point that would get generated. So I would click on the start, and I would start from the my top point, and as you see, it will start testing the, the curve now keep in mind I'm not actually testing this relay but it is simulating a test so as you see the points showing me where the relay would actually be tested at Now, as you see this deviation is actually put in there on purpose because I want to show you the difference between the curve and the the relay test result but in generally generally speaking uh, electromechanical relays may have some deviation but solid state trip devices nowadays the deviation for them are are um, pretty small. In fact, most of the time you expect it to be right on the, the device curve. But let's say we have this, this result from our relay for whatever the reason. 
and uh, once we're done with the testing you see the test results being generated here now you could also ask the program to do this automatic test